tired of getting banned no matter how many new accounts you make? If every account you create gets flagged instantly, you're most likely HWID banned. That means your hardware is blacklisted by the anti-cheat system, but there's a fix. In this video, I'll show you how a hardware ID spoofer can reset your hardware IDs and get you back into the game safely. A good hardware ID spoofer changes key system identifiers like your motherboard, drives, GPU, BIOS, and MAC address, so anti-cheat software can't track you across accounts. Instead of wasting hundreds on new parts or reinstalling Windows, you can spoof in seconds and stay undetected. I'll cover exactly how it works, why it's effective, and what you need to know to avoid future bans. Stick around until the end to learn how to set it up properly. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to divinecheats.net. This is where you guys are going to be purchasing the hardware ID spoofer. And once you guys are on the website, you're going to scroll down until you see the perm HWID spoofer right here. We're going to be selecting this one because it spoofs your hardware ID permanently. They also have a temp spoofer, which is a quicker solution, spoofs your hardware ID temporarily. So we're going to be going with the permanent option today. And as you can see, they have two different variants for the permanent spoofer. They have the one time duration and the lifetime. The lifetime costs 68 and the one time is 25. I recommend the one time to anyone that does not plan on cheating. You guys simply want to get unbanned quickly and just want to go back to playing legit. And if you guys do plan on cheating and you guys are a consistent cheater, I recommend the lifetime option because you can re spoof as many times as you want with the lifetime option. So you're going to press buy now and it's going to bring you to the checkout page. From here, you can choose your payment method. They have a variety of different payment methods such as PayPal, Google Pay, Venmo, and credit slash debit card. If you do not see your preferred payment methods such as Cash App or cryptocurrency, you can join the Discord server where you guys can check out with those options there. So let me show you how to use a spoofer now. After receiving your spoofer download, your license key and a serial checker, go ahead and open up the serial checker first where you're gonna run it and grab your serials that you have currently. You're gonna press new and then take a quick screenshot of it. You're gonna save it to your desktop and write something like banned serials. Once you have that saved, you could close this out and open up the spoofer, but first grab your license key, copy that, and once you have it copied, right click the loader and run it as administrator. Once the spoofer loader is open, simply paste in your license key and then press login. Once you guys are in the spoofer menu, you're gonna to go to the spoofer tab and you're gonna press on permanent spoof. For the EFI spoof, you only need that for certain motherboards such as Asus. So we're gonna be going ahead and ignoring that because I do not have an Asus motherboard. I'm gonna press permanent spoof, which will begin the hard ID spoof. What you guys wanna do from here is not touch anything because it may interrupt the process. You guys just wanna stay patient and wait for it to finish. So once the permanent spoof has completed, it's gonna tell you this at the bottom. And from here, what you guys wanna do is close out the loader and you'll have to restart your PC to apply the changes, which I'll be doing right now. After restarting your PC, go ahead and open up the divine serial checker. Once you have that open, drag it to the side and open up the screenshot that you saved earlier with the banned serials. So we're gonna put them both side by side and we're gonna compare them. So as you can see, they have changed correctly and the serial numbers are different. The volume serial number has changed, the MAC addresses have changed, and all of our other serial numbers have also changed. So once you guys confirm that everything has been changed correctly, this means that the hard ID spoof has worked on your computer and you can go back to playing your favorite games such as Rust, Fortnite or Call of Duty without having any of those annoying hardware ban restrictions again. So how do you know if Divine Spoofer is legit or a scam? Well, you can simply check out all the vouchers that they have on their Discord server, which is going to be linked in the description down below. And once you guys are on the vouchers page, you're going to see all of these customers that have vouched in the past for the spoofers or other products that Divine sells. So you guys definitely want to choose a provider like Divine. You will not be disappointed and you're gonna get your money's worth. And that's it. Now you know exactly how a hard ready spoofer works and how to stay safe while gaming. If this helped you, hit that like button and subscribe for more guides on avoiding bans and keeping your accounts secure. Got questions or need extra help? Drop a comment down below or join the community linked in the description down below and we're always here to help. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.